Hello, I'm Ashley from Sousa Loop Yarn Craft, and today we are going to be making the Kaylee Cowl. This cowl works up really quick and has gorgeous texture to it. It uses the wonderfully textured stitch, the raised ripple. It's similar to the Alpine stitch, but has some differences. And it's really fun to make. Once you get going, it just glides along. It's great for one of the projects that you're binging your favorite Netflix show to. For this cowl, I've used the amazing Wander Acrylic Yarn. It's a lovely worsted weight yarn. It's easy to work with. It comes in some amazing colors and it's got this really pretty sheen to it. We'll also need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and I'll be using my turquoise odyssey your scissors yarn needle and your tape measure for keeping track of the length and height we'll be working in the round so it makes it really easy to adjust the height of your cowl this one is designed a bit taller uh, for some extra bulk to it for to keep you nice and warm but you can make it shorter if you choose to you just won't continue to do as many repeat rounds it's also really fun to play with colors and switch every couple rows like i did in this one or you can just leave it solid color and even switch the colors in bigger blocks for a less stripe effect the possibilities for the color variations will just go on and on and you can play with it and have some fun that way and before we get started, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you'll be alerted of every time I have new tutorials out. And of course, if you're looking for the free written version of this pattern and all the details of the supplies and yarn I used, you can find that on the blog post, which is linked below. You can check that out there. And I think we're ready to get started making the Kaylee cowl. All right, so we are ready to begin. I've got my hook and my beginning color. For the video, I will go through for where I changed colors for the three color tones, um, as you could see in the one at the beginning. So we're going to get our slip knot made, and we are going to start with a chain of 71. And 71. Great, so now once you've got your chain, you want to join it together with a slip stitch to make your circle. Make sure it's not twisted. Just join to the end and slip stitch and chain two. So now we are ready for round one. We're going to start round one in this stitch right here where the one after where we joined it together. So round one is just going to be double crochets all the way around. And we're going to double crochet in each chain around for a total of 70 double crochets.
to go ahead and finish that all the way around. And I will meet you back here after 70 double crochets to begin round two. All right, so I've got my 70 double crochets. Now we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch. And chain one. And there we go, there is round one. So for round two, which is the first of our repeat rounds, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch and single crochet in each stitch around. So go ahead and single crochet for a total of 70 stitches in each stitch around, and I will meet you right back here for round three. Okay, we're now ready for round three, which is the second round of our repeat rounds. This is also the round where we are going to start using the front post treble crochet. So for to begin, we're going to double crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to front post treble crochet around the double crochet from row one. So yarn over twice for your treble crochet. We're going to go from front to back around that post. Pull up a loop and you want to pull that up nice and even. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now for the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet but you want to make sure you don't go into that stitch behind the treble. You want to go in the next one over. So yarn over, double crochet, and the next stitch is the treble crochet. And we're going to skip this double down here and go to the next one. Right in behind, pull up a loop, and treble. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around with the double crochet and the front post treble. And again, for a total of 70 stitches. Okay, I am done my 70 stitches for round three, and we are ready to move on to round four. Now, this is where I switch to color number two. Uh, however, if you're not switching colors, you can just continue. What I recommend when switching colors, because we're going to be using this color a little bit later again, I'm just going to drop this, and I'm not cutting it off. And then later, when I need this color again, I'll just bring it up and save some weaving in of the ends. So I'm going to join with my next color. We're going to drop that one and I'm going to pull through and join that round with the next color. And then we are going to chain one and we are ready for round four. 
So round four is going to be just like round two. We're just going to single crochet in each stitch around again for a total of the 70 stitches. So go ahead, make your single crochets all the way around and I will meet you right back here for round five. There I've got my 70 single crochets for round four and we will join slip stitch to join that round and we will chain two to begin round five the last of our repeat rounds round five is just like round three and this would almost be a two round repeat there's just one small difference so for round three we started with a double crochet and then the next stitch was the front post treble crochet for round five we're going to start with the front post treble crochet and then move to the double crochet and alternate that way. So we're going to yarn over twice and we're going to front post double crochet in the double crochet right below, which is this one here right next to the chain. So we're not going to go around the other front post treble crochet, but the double crochet. And now we will double crochet on top of the front post and treble in this double crochet. And double crochet and treble crochet. So if you get confused which stitch you're at, just remember you always want to treble crochet around the doubles and double crochet on top of the trebles. So continue that all the way around again for 70 stitches and I will meet you right back here. And I'm done my 70 stitches for round five. So here is where I'm going to change colors again for my third color. So I'm just going to drop that gray color just like I did the color one and just join that slip stitch with my new color. There we go. And we are just going to chain one as we are moving on to round six. So we're beginning round six with the third color. And here we're just going to repeat from rounds two to five until you have your desired height. I did a total of 33 rounds, repeating row rounds two to five uh, for the height I want. I was going for to about 13 inches in height. So you can do more or less depending on the size you are looking for. So I'm going to continue round six, uh, just like a repeat of round two and continue on from there for 33 rounds. And I will meet you back here when we are ready to finish up our Kaylee Cowell. And 
I am done that final round. And that's my 33rd round. I will mention here that this finishes with a repeat of round five if you do the same amount of round I did. And one of my testers um, brought up maybe finishing with a the single crochet round, and I believe that's what she did. So you are welcome to do to finish off one last single crochet round for that little bit of border-like effect if you'd like to do that as well. I just left mine like this, but that's always an option as well. So now we will just cut that yarn and tie off and pull that through. And we have our cowl. So as you can see here in the inside, because I didn't cut my ends, I've just got these little diagonal pieces here from carrying it up. And that way I only have the starting ends and the end ends to weave in instead of one for each of the rounds there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked making the Kaylee cowl. I love any pattern with lots of texture and I think the stripes combined with the texture on just this pattern makes it really just pop out. This is definitely going into one of my favorites category. And again, if you do like this video, please hit that subscribe and like button to let me know. And if you are interested, you can head over and check out the written pattern as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I can't wait to crochet again with you next time.